Welcome to Flare Review. Tonight, I will be covering Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. This movie came out in 1985. It's a horror fantasy, gonna run you an hour and 27 minutes. It's directed by Jack Shoulder and it is written by the great Wes Craven. It is starring Robert England, Kim Myers, Mark Patton, and quite a few other characters, but we'll just name the highlights. So this is Freddy number two. So we all, we all remember the gist from the first one. So this one, Freddy comes back and he tries to take over Jesse's body to possess him to get, basically to continue like murdering people. And you know, Jesse has his love tr interest with Lisa. And of course, all this goes awry when Freddy Krueger basically starts taking over Jesse's body bit by bit by bit. And Jesse can't sleep, he's going crazy. His parents are worried about him, he's waking up at night screaming. And eventually, like, in the movie, like, Freddy comes over and takes over him in the real world completely. And it's just, it's just, it's mayhem. It's, it's, it's pretty sweet. And honestly, the special effects of this movie for the 80s just get better as the movies go on. Um, there's so many cool special effects. All the special effects they do with the Freddy stuff, all the different things they do with Freddy... You know, Robert England's characters that they allow him to do. The dude is just, he's hes the man. He's the freaking man. Um, as you guys know, this is one of the most iconic slasher horror movie characters of all time. It's Robert England's most famous character. I think they made like seven or eight of these things or something like that. I don't know. I've lost track. But So it's just like, if you haven't seen it, go see this film. They're all on HBO Max right now. I'm sure they're on other streaming service, but that's where I caught it at. So again... I believe the first like five or six are on HBO Max right now. So overall, I'm going to give this, we're going to go a 6.8 out of 10. Again, it's only, always I have it that low is because it is the 80s and it's a little cheesy. But again, great special effects. And again, they get, the storylines keep getting better and better. And I'll see you next time for Freddy number three.